Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we're fixing a broken commander wiper arm. All right guys, so the other day I went to the car wash and I brought the Jeep in in normal condition. Everything was working and functioning. When I came out, it was ripped out here like this with no blade on it. So I guess that stupid roll thing came down and ripped it right off. And I didn't even realize it until it came home, so I couldn't even pick up the wiper blade just to recover that. So now I have no wiper blade, and the arm is completely hooped. It's jacked up, busted. This is just fiberglass, so um, let's open this up and see what we got. Yeah, buddy, we finally got ourselves another black booty. <laughs> another black booty video. Black booty is the unofficial name given to my commander by Gabe. I'm just happy that you got another black beauty. That's right. That's right. There it goes. Now you got two black booties. What, black booty? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that happened. <laughs> black booty. But, uh, all right, cool. Oh, man. There's dust in here. Crazy. So this just pops off. There's a little indentation. You can pop off this cap. And then we got to get this nut. Looks like 13 millimeter. 13 mil. There we have it. A busted arm. All right, guys, we are on the way to the yard. Yahoo, another yard video. Um, I'm pretty sure this place has some XKs. I've seen them in the back. Um, I was there about a month ago looking for some ZJ stuff. So I found a, a ZJ VIC and uh, got some other stuff for. Uh, a WJ. I got myself a WJ body control module. Now it's not what you think. I know I have a WJ, but uh, that still runs, still starts. I didn't need a, a BCM. Uh, this BCM that I pulled is, is gonna be for my XJ. So that's uh, another uh, hint to my new build. I'm gonna try to integrate some WJ electronics into my XJ Beach Jeep. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, on our way to the yard, it should be fun, and I will check in when I get there. Alright, we are here. The guy says we got plenty of options, but good luck trying to find one that's not broken. So I think our first candidate is right by this WJ. <laughs> Bet it had the Hemi. Let's take a look, see what we got. Jeep Rain Guards, classy, nice color, looking classy. Hemi, and here's the arm. Hmm. Looks broken. Next. Here we go. Here's a Grand Cherokee. Oh man, another Limited. That's a bad day for Limiteds here. Uh, let's try this one. Got my tripod. This was actually my original tripod and it broke, so I shortened the legs, made a portable tripod. Hello over there. Oh, Spider City. They all have little cracks right in here. Yeah, I'll see if I can get it off anyway. Buddy, these are seized on. I wonder why they all break. This fiberglass stuff is like permanent. <laughs> oh, man. I would force it some more. I don't want to botch the lift gate. Someone else needs this lift gate, so try another one. Pass. Boy, oh boy. Well, the wiper arm's a no-go. 
but let's check her out anyway in here. Look at this. Nice taupe interior. Pretty clean back here, except for the gas can sitting on the folded seats. But nice vehicle. Check her out. Quadra Drive 2. And there's your Hemi. Says okay, so on to the next one. Hey, look here. 84 Corvette. It's the first year of the C4. Are these even allowed to be in a junkyard? That's a nice Liberty Latitude. Cool badging. Nice black leather seats. Still pretty good. <laughs> if it's not for the broken glass. Don't want that glass in your ass, guys. But not a bad vehicle. Well, that's taped up. Hopefully not for a biohazard. These are different, so can't use that. Drive shaft. Good. Didn't ruin the seats. Still not a bad vehicle. And we got an O2 Liberty Sport. And it looks like these share the same steering wheel controls as the WJ. And maybe even the later TJs. Let me know if that's right, guys. The buttons. I know the XJ buttons, different ears have different resistance. Maybe these all work the same. Not sure. Let me know. All right. There's another WK. Let's check out. <laughs> nope. Never mind. <laughs> gone, gone, gone. These center consoles, they're the same as the Commanders. Ugh. Never mind. Gross! Check out the interior. Ugh. Grosser than gross. I still got the head unit in there. Not bad. Oh, see another XK. Way down there. All right, this isn't looking good already because the cap's already off. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, man. SOL today, man. Ah, again, a Hemi. I've never seen so many wrecked Hemis in all my life. More taupe interior. Oh, this one had a Quadra Drive 2 also. A Quadra Drive 2 2. And this, guys, this is why Command View is so hard to find replacement glass for. Because they just throw stuff on top of these things. That just smashes all these little Command View windows. Dang it. Ooh. Crossbars. I might take these. Hey, check this out. It's full of dirt. I'll take it. An XJ! 9701. Yeah, we got our straight six. Oh, man. I could have used the header panel, too. Ooh, front bumper is straight. Wow. Eh, nah, front bumper's messed up. Well, this was either a limited or a classic because it's got painted bumper ends so let's see yep classic which means it could have had the leather seats nope but they are the cloth low back very classy very classy steering column is gone stock radio though that's good to see let's see I wonder what year this is probably a 99 Yeah, Reg is ripped off. <laughs> there we go. 
99 score. I did not pre-plan this, guys. I just loves me some XJs. Well, painted bumper ends are pretty good. Well, this needs some work. Good painted flares. I could probably use them. Got a lot of oxidation on the clear coat. But, it could work. Oh man, bashed. <laughs> I just replaced this fender on one of my videos. Come on, ready to go. Unfortunately, it's on the ground, so we're gonna have to rip this out. All right, must have been rusty. <laughs> uh, the rust broke and the plastic didn't. Ah, I love XJs. And what is this I see? Come to me. Yeah. We got a headlight bezel with two tabs. And it ain't cracked. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Here, look at this, guys. We got a not cracked fan shroud. I haven't seen a not cracked fan shroud in years. And this was in an accident too. So I'm taking this one. This is going on beach deep. So these are eight mil. Easy peasy. This one too. That's awesome. All right guys, last one. This one isn't even on the list. This guy said it was a new arrival today. And it actually looks pretty clean, so uh, hopefully it's not a struggle. It looks like someone attempted this and abandoned it, but... Oh, no way! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Woohoohoo! We got it, baby! We got it. <laughs> All right, guys. We got our part. But one last gem to check out. This one clearly says 97, Grand Cherokee in here. Let's see what's going on with this beauty. Oh, what a shame. This passenger seat would have been great. It's nice and soft and buttery. This would be perfect to use as a driver's seat swap. But unfortunately, it's ripped. What else? Cruise control, ooh, VIC guys. Come and get it, VIC. Oh, man, what a shame. Got headrest. These seats are probably okay underneath the gas tank. Ah, tailgate's gone, of course. There's vice grips. Good old tailgate. Ooh, new bulbs. Score. <laughs> You know what? Could use a steering wheel. Let's see how this is. Probably shot. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> the leather's already ripped off. Uh, sad, sad days in the junkyard. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> More vice grips. Dang, man. Hey, you do what you gotta do, right? All right guys, definitely a good day at the yard. Good score. So we'll uh, head on back home and put that wiper arm back on. All right guys, we are back. I actually pulled XJ parts from a junkyard. I haven't done that in so long. Back when XJs in the yard were a dime a dozen. And uh, here we go, we got our wiper arm. We got an XJ fan shroud, XJ fender flare. We got a headlight bezel, score. And we got two Commander roof racks. Now, all of this stuff together was only 50 bucks. And this fender flare was $25. Half the price of all this score was a fender flare. So, I guess that tells you they're getting pretty rare. So, check this out. Now, looking at this thing, you can tell it's got a little crack in there. Right? But also, look at this thing. This nut is seized on. It's like fused onto that stud. 
So I'm gonna have to spray some penetrating oil on it. Looks like that's what was on this thing and hopefully it'll come off. All right, we're gonna let this soak before we try to pull anything. Don't wanna bust anything. And while that's soaking, we're gonna go ahead and address this crack in here. See if we could repair this before we reinstall it. All right, so once again, here is our crack. Thank you, son, for illuminating that just right. And you can see it from this side too. And I got a little brake clean. I'm just gonna give this a little shot in here because I want nice, clean, oil-free surface to set my epoxy in. All right, so the only epoxy I have is Gorilla Glue Clear. I uh, usually use Permatex Plastic Epoxy. It usually says plastic on it. I don't see plastic on here, but we're going to have to give it a shot because it's all I have. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. Just going to smush some of this out here. Cap it back up quick and give it a good mix. Scoop it up. Drip that all in there. Get the leftovers with the toothpick. Poke it in with the toothpick. Get all the air bubbles out. All right, let that sit in the sun and it'll cure up. Now we we'll go try to get that nut off. All right, first thing I'm gonna try, it's just a good old vice grip. See what we could do with that vice grip and penetrating oil. So, a little too tight. Clamp this on. Let's see if we can work this off. There we go. All right. That's it. Come on, baby. Got it. No sweat. And did I wire wheel the nut already? Yes, I did. All right, guys, we got our wiper nub all cleaned up. We also have our wiper arm pretty clean. We got the glue. It's uh, it's a little tacky, the epoxy, but um, yeah, it's not completely set up, but I don't have all day. <laughs> I got things to do. So I got an old nine millimeter uh, nylon brush. I'm just gonna scrub this out. Clean out that barrel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's looking pretty clean. Very good. All right. And of course, guys, you guessed it. Anti-seize. All right. Just gonna slide this on. I guess it goes about here. Make sure it's in the down position, because I know the wiper is off. And I got this old washer thing. One of the commanders had it on, so I figured uh, I'll put it on mine, since mine didn't have one. Why not, right? And of course, my cleaned wire wheeled nut. Gonna put that on, because I guess I'm a nut. And we'll crank on the 13 millimeter. Don't wanna go too tight. I guess we'll just leave the uh, stud even with the nut. All right, and now the cap. There we go, replaced, cool. Hey, you know what guys, while we're out here, might as well replace this blade. Um, I don't know how old this one was because it uh, broke off, but um, I did get a two pack of these not too long ago. Um, it is, let's see, type E14C, I guess. I don't know if that's the OEM part number. Um, but it is this part number for uh, whatever it is I got on Amazon. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description below. And it's kind of hard to see how you take this off, but there's these two little nubs right here that you pinch. Pinch the tabs and the nubs go down. So we'll try to uh, do that for this to slide it out. There you go. Pinch it in. There. It pulls out. Now really simple, all you gotta do to replace it is give it a little pinch right here. Clips right into place. There we go. All right, babe, hit it. 
Give her the old spray. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right, guys. I got the good stuff right here. This is a fantastic finished dressing. This makes all the stuff look good. Perfect 10. Check this out. Give it a little shaky. Soak all the black. Look at that, guys. Looking real good. Alright guys, that is a wrap for my Commander Wiper Arm video, and this arm isn't only on the XKs, it's also on the Grand Cherokees too, and even some Dodges, I believe. So, Wiper Arm on, also we got the Wiper Blade on, I will leave a link in the description below for these blades, and also that Perfect 10 spray. Got everything looking good, it works, so couldn't be happier. Everything back to normal, and that's a wrap. So, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace. Bonus footage!